We are not in my kitchen this time. We are at my dining table. And tonight, since it's cold and it snowed about two feet, we are going to do ribs for dinner. And we're gonna do ribs with baked beans and I have those all ready to go. And tonight I'm just focusing on the Instant Pot and how I use it because there's been lots of questions about how I use my Instant Pot. So. This is an Instant Pot Duo, and it has all these really neat, uh, lovely little techniques on here, and we're just gonna focus on the meat and stew portion. But we have, because we're putting meat in there, so what's gonna happen is they're going to get infused with moisture and flavor. And then we're going to put them in the oven for the second part. But the first part is the Instant Pot part, which will just make them fall off the bone super tender. And so the first thing that we do is you want to make sure that you put at least, at least a cup and a half to two cups of liquid in there. And since we don't really care what the liquid is at this point because it's not really doing anything except steaming the food, this is water. So we're going to put the water in there, and there is a cool little rack in here that's going to keep things from getting in the water and boiling. We don't really want it to boil. We just want it to steam and get all those flavors in. This is a, an Alaskan blend of seasoning, but you can use any type of seasoning, salt. You like this one is really good because it's got a lot of pepper and garlic. And Where can you buy it? <laughs> This one you can buy online if you're not in Alaska. Um, it's Alaskan Seasonings. Let me find the website on here. AlaskanSeasoningsCompany.com. So, AlaskanSeasoningsCompany.com. Or you can go to Mr. Prime Beef. That's right. Or you can go to Mr. Prime Beef if you live here in Alaska. Uh, and they sell bigger containers there. They sell them all over Alaska because this is a really really good company and they have lots of good connections with local places but this is local and it's very tasty like I said this is the Denali blend and it's hard to see on the label because I use this one a whole lot but there's a lot of pepper in here let me show you so we're gonna basically dry rub this get it really seasoned Oh man, that smells so good. Yeah, I don't care. I'm getting it all over the table. Oh well, that's what that's what it's that's what sweeping is for, right? Brooms have their place in this world. So I'm gonna put some in the instant pot there, that one, and I'm gonna flip this over. The dog is patiently late waiting for me to drop something, but I'm sorry, buddy. This is just not gonna happen today. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to stick both of those in the Instant Pot. We're going to put the lid on. Let's see if I can do this. You hear that lovely noise? That's trying to line up. There we go. Okay, so turn it. And it's on the top it says venting and sealing. You're going to want it to be, this is venting and this is sealing. You're going to want it to be on the seasoning side. So the, the button that you push is really simple. All you have to do is push meat and stew and it will start heating up and when it starts to build pressure there's a little pressure button here that'll pop up it's telling me that it's starting to work and what it'll do is infuse a lot of those flavors in there so it'll be super super tasty and very tender and then the next thing we're going to do is put it in the oven to crisp it up so this is the first part instant pot ribs thanks this just came up as zero, 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 meaning it's ready to release the pressure. So I'm going to get out of the way because steam burns. Oops, there we go. And I'm going to get out of the way again because it's pointing at me. Until the little toggle goes down, we can't take the lid off. So we're going to have to wait. It's going to be a couple seconds but the steam is really hot. Okay. So, since that's coming down, I wanted to share the barbecue sauce I'm gonna put on here. This is my son's favorite barbecue sauce. 
but I kicked it up a little bit and I added some vinegar, some pepper, and some um, garlic, garlic powder. So this is gonna taste really good. This is the rack that I have prepared for the ribs. The ribs are gonna go on here so they don't stick to the pan and I have put on cooling racks and I'm actually gonna oil this so that when they go on here, um, they don't stick as bad. So let me go grab my little sprayer, my little oil sprayer, and as soon as I do, I'll be able to take this lid off. Be right back. This is something from the Pampered Chef and it works just like a regular sprayer for oil, like a Pam or other nonstick spray. And as soon as it comes up, as far as really hard to push down, then it's ready to use. What's inside it? This is oil, just straight oil. This is a vegetable actually, this is canola oil. We can't use vegetable oil in my house because vegetable oil typically has soy in it and so it's something my son can't tolerate. So now it's up here. Nice, huh? Look, no aerosols. No aerosol. Now I can take the lid off. It smells fantastic. Turn it away from mm. you when you pull it up. Super important. I'm gonna stick it on this side so you can see what I'm doing. That's a keen little trick that I learned from somebody online. These are actually falling apart, which is kind of nice. But you can see all the seasoning on them. This took about 35 minutes for it to cook completely. They are completely cooked. We're just going to be adding some barbecue sauce. And once we add the barbecue shot sauce, we're going to bake it in the oven. These are super, super meaty. So we're just going to put this barbecue sauce on as much as we can. Be pretty liberal with it. We will have barbecue sauce left over on the table for leftovers so that you can dip your ribs in the barbecue sauce. These are going to be finger licking good. The nice thing is that this is nicely sprayed with oil so that nothing will stick to those racks. That is super good. As you can see, the ribs are actually pulling away from the meat. It's a good thing. These are actually done at this point. I know I said that before, but they really are. We're just going to put them in the oven to get them nice and infused with that barbecue sauce. It's kind of hard to get that crispy barbecue sauce flavor in the Instant Pot. You can do it. It's just a process that's it's it's really a long process so I just prefer to do it like this okay so this is ready to go into the oven and it's gonna be in the oven for about 10 minutes on a really high temperature about 475 and it will get super 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 moist even more and that barbecue sauce will just suck right in okay next you'll see the complete dinner we're gonna have cornbread and we're gonna have beans and we're gonna have Ribs. Thanks! So this is a complete supper. Um, the ribs are done. These are baked beans. They are Bush's baked beans and Bush's baked beans are very safe. Cornbread and this is a Bob's Red Mill cornbread bread but you can use any kind of gluten-free mix that you like. My daughter is allergic to, or she can't tolerate, cow dairy lactose, so we get this for her, the Earth Balance soy-free spread. And then this is regular butter. Extra sweet baby berries for dipping sauce, and I will plate a plate. As you can tell, these ribs are totally falling apart, which is wonderful. And I will put more 
sweet baby rays on them. I realize I did not put a vegetable on the table, but you know, it's Sunday, so probably be something super easy, like broccoli or maybe some carrots. Uh, oops. Get some cornbread. And some butter. Okay. Put a little extra sweet baby rays on my plate. Since I demoed the uh, ribs, I will taste the ribs, but everything else will probably just gum up my mouth, and I won't be able to yell to the rest of the family that it's time to eat. So, whew, maybe I should have left that going first. <laughs> maybe I should leave that bottle upside down. Okay, so as you can see, these ribs are totally falling apart, and that's a good thing. And I'm going to taste a little bit without dipping it in the barbecue sauce because my husband always wants me to eat the food, so. <laughs> that is really good. There is so much flavor in that, it's unbelievable. The Instant Pot just makes everything super, super absorbent. It's very moist. Um, got a lot of flavor on it from the rub that we put on. I bought these ribs on sale, so it was perfect. <coughs> Pardon. <laughs> um, they were buy one, get one free. So I actually have another one in the freezer, so I can do this again. But it's hard to explain how incredibly moist this is, so you're just going to have to trust me. All right. Thanks so much, and have a wonderful evening. Bye.